So you just got done putting injectors in your Bobcat Doosan engine with the Delphi fuel system, and now it's time to program those injectors. So we're gonna take a look at exactly how to program those injectors using one of our laptops and one of our interfaces. So what is and why do we do injector coding? So first of all, let's take a look at, you know, these injectors that we have. Now all four of these injectors might look exactly the same. They might even built on the same line at the same time, but each one of them is gonna have unique characteristics. So we call that C3I injector coding. So what that stands for is enhanced independent injector characterization, because each one of these have their own characteristics, such as flow rate and response time. Now let's just go back to response time. When we measure response time, we're measuring that in microseconds. A microsecond is one one millionth of a second. That's how we're measuring our response time and our actual injector cycle time. Now those injectors might cycle up to seven times per uh, stroke, compression stroke, I guess, or the firing stroke of the engine, five to seven times. But what's important to know is that each time it fires, how much fuel and the, the, the actual response rate of the, um, the electric solenoid inside here is very important because the ECU has to have a starting point. It has nowhere to start. So when they build these injectors on the line, they, they know exactly what their response rate is, exactly what the flow rate is, and they put a, um, a code on top of these injectors. So each code is gonna have a 20 digit alphanumeric code, and that's gonna give our ECU a starting point, a baseline of where to start that injector so that we don't cause engine damage because the ECU constantly learns and makes small changes to these injectors based off combustion performance for each cylinder. So over time, it just continues to take that baseline number and it continues to adjust this uh, injector to make sure that you know the cylinder is operating as most efficiently as possible at the end of the day we're really trying to make sure that we're doing combustion we're measuring combustion temperature that's how we make sure that our um, uh, cylinders are, are running efficient so over time if this injector is wearing out or being less efficient the ECU is making up for that so maybe it has to fire it for a little bit longer time which will allow it to uh, keep the, uh, the, 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 the injector open a little bit longer because that cylinder needs a little more fuel. And then we drop in a whole nother injector, a brand new injector that has completely different characteristics than this injector. Now the engine is firing that new injector based off the information it had off the old injector. And that's when we can be putting too much fuel in there, maybe not the right timing. We're talking about not engine timing, but injector timing. You know, that's important because the ECU knows exactly when to fire that injector based on where the piston is in space or inside the board. But anyways, that's a couple of reasons why it's important that we code the injectors. Let's take a look at how to actually code them using our laptop. So what we have is, uh, this is our, um, new or our latest version of our Bobcat interface. Now, this one just allows us to talk to the Bobcat side. And so it's not necessary to code the injectors, but I am gonna use this because we have an on off button where we can turn the machine on and not have to climb up in the cab and turn the machine on. So we'll get that hooked up. And now we're using our um, Doosan UVIM to actually do the injector coding. So this is what we need to talk to the engine. So all of this is available on our website, but uh, you might be able to find something like this on Amazon. The problem is it's not set up to do Bobcat. You don't have the right harnesses and stuff. So if you buy it from us, of course, it's all completely set up, plug and play. You'll have the right software and everything to talk directly to your engine. So let's look at where we wanna hook these up. So right here above the battery, and this is pretty much the same from the year 1999 all the way up to present day, even the R-Series machines, you're going to have two breakout harnesses. Um, one is going to be this round seven pin is going to be for the, uh, the Bobcat side, and the six pin Deutz um, is going to be for the engine side. So I will hook up our Bobcat interface to here and our engine interface is going to hook up here. Now on our interface, we can 
turn the engine on, you can hear that the beep came on up there. So we know that now our machine is in the on position. So now we can communicate uh, with the Bobcat side and the engine side. So on my laptop, what you'll find is we're, we're looking for the icon here that says V1 ECU. So this is a V1 engine that um, is, is the Delphi injection system. We all have to also have a V2 down here for the, um, for the Bosch fuel system. And underneath the icons, always put your password. So here we can see it's 851959. We will get that entered. Now we've got two options here. We can do diagnosis or training. So training, we don't even have to be hooked to a machine. We can click on that, go through the functions, make changes, and it's not gonna affect anything. But diagnosis, we have to be hooked to the machine, which we are, so that's what we're gonna select. So the first thing we need to do is go up here and double check our settings because sometimes this stuff will not be selected. Everything in here has to be selected before it's gonna allow us to communicate. So we've got our port setting, we've set our temperature, our pressure, and our time. We've got uh, hours or seconds. I like to record in seconds. So we're gonna hit OK. Now we're gonna go and just hit our start function. So again, the purpose of this video is just to um, do um, in, in injector reprogramming or injector coding. So we won't go through all the functions in this video, but what we're gonna do is go down to this tab that says part replacement. And we're gonna look for C3I injector coding here. We're gonna click apply. So now the, the ECU already has these numbers in here. This is our old injectors, right? So we're gonna go in and program each new injector. So I like to take a picture of the top of the injector in what cylinder it is. Remember cylinder one, two, three, four. Cylinder one is the, the alternator, the water pump side, the front of the engine, I guess we call it. Injector four will be the bell housing or the flywheel side. So one, two, three, four, we'll take a picture of number one. We will go in here and we will erase this code and we're gonna put in a 20 digit code. And so I'm just gonna kind of make up something here. Let's just go um, X Delta Frank five, seven Yankee Tango three, eight, two, one Frank eight hotel Tango golf alpha Sierra three, two, Okay, so we got our 20 digits here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit right. Now, since I made up that number, we can see that the injector coding says fail. So why I'm pointing that out is if you, if, if you want to code all four injectors at the same time and then hit right, if you miss one letter or one number, it will not right it'll say failed so now you got to start all over so it, it's 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 common to make a mistake i mean i do it all the time but but now i really look at the injector twice because it takes a few minutes to get all those numbers and letters correct and i just look at the phone you know expand the picture and just make sure each one of them's correct before you hit that right function it'll just save you a little bit of time and frustration so now let's just say we put in the correct injector code let's hit right now it says injector coding is completed. That's because we have four proper injector codes that the ECU recognizes and now it knows how to start um, a baseline for each one of those injectors. So all we're gonna do is hit okay, hit okay, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna stop our function or our session, so to speak, in the ECU. So there you have it. There's a little information on why we do the C3I injector coding and how you do it. Now, don't forget that we are having training classes here at our facility. We're gonna have four day classes. Um, our next one is actually gonna start the first week of March. Um, we're gonna do a full day of engine training, a full day of hydraulic training, a full day of electrical training, and then the fourth day is kind of gonna be a combination of all those things. And then that way, you know, we can get off early where you can leave on Thursday night if you flew in or drove in, whatever the case may be, or take off that uh, Friday. So four days, it'll start Monday through Thursday. Check our website if you're interested, you can sign up and go ahead and buy your slot for that course. Each course, we're only gonna have 10 positions available. 
And we also are gonna to try to have an online version of that. So if you can't make it to our facility in person, check out the online version and you can just join online like a Skype type live meeting for the, um, the training classes while they're actually in progress. So any questions on that, let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll have a link in the description where you can buy uh, the full kit so you can do all your programming and diagnostics and have your own laptop kit. We also have a rental program as well if you're interested in the rental program. Don't forget to ask about that. Thanks for watching.